Jason right here. Uh, this video, I'm going to talk about kind of my favorite features of Go High Level. And it's really just a, like the active campaign video in the school community. It's just kind of a snapshot in time. Um, I've got a lot more experience with active campaign, but based on my skill set, my background, I was able to pick this up pretty quickly. So talking about the difference between the two, um, in my other video, I did admit I like the uh, the automation view, they call them workflows here, uh, automations there. I mean, it's really the same automation, main menu, workflow, sub menu, same thing. But when you just look at the, uh, how they look on the screen, active campaign just seems a little bit more 2024. GHL seems just, just a little bit older. doesn't affect the function, but a lot of what we have here basically are labels, right? You have to label everything, which is a little annoying, but it doesn't doesn't affect anything when it's set up. Uh, GHL is a bit older looking, I feel like, in the CRM as well, but very similar to Active Campaigns. A little simpler here. You don't have as many screens, but it's going to have all your custom fields, kind of your busy feed of activity. Um, it's maybe just a bit more powerful, uh, especially with the uh, attribution stuff as well. But you can do more with social into it. I do like high level, so don't think I don't like it. I do like it. It is a uh, hands down more powerful platform, is mean, meaning there's a lot more functionality. So um, the reason that you probably have it or are probably thinking about it, just making an assumption about my audience here, is you like the idea of an all in one. Okay. Um, I've already told you, you can do the, you know, workflows or automations. Um, like I said, my active campaign video, the pipeline feature is really the same as active campaign. Um, it, it looks the same. It, it's basically, basically the same. Um, not a whole lot of difference there. I mean, very, 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 very similar. Um, go high level does include the ability to build funnels like you could with click funnels so landing pages cart pages etc which i like you can actually build a website here um looks like an e-com store um, there's built-in analytics there's blogging there's forms there's surveys there's chat widget um there's a membership site you know go high level is often described as click funnels meets active campaign meets hubspot uh, a little bit more affordable than HubSpot, though HubSpot gets pretty crazy. So I'll be honest with you, I really like both. Um, and you don't have to pick, well, I don't have to pick one or the other because I work in both. But if you really like everything in one place, uh, it's definitely worth checking out. There's reputation management. There's probably more robust reporting than active campaign. Active campaigns reporting is um, leaves a bit to be desired. Um, both. Both have uh, good apps. Um, there's a lot with ads that can flow right in here as well, which I like. Um, there's a lot of good stuff, a lot of good stuff going on here. So the things that I value the most about marketing automation, I said this in my other videos, um, both, you know, high level and active campaign, both have the pipelines. They both have automations. They both have the ability to use more than just email, right? Email, text, um, you know, high levels, got social media messaging kind of built into all of this as well, which is, is pretty interesting. Uh, you can even schedule your social posts here. So uh, the thing that's interesting about high level is you can go to go high level and buy, you know, one of two plans yourself if you want to. Uh, one's 97 bucks a month, one's 297 a month. Um, or you can buy, there's a lot of people like me, there's a lot of people doing white label versions of it. So we are what they call an agency. Um, the high level model is built uh, for agencies, which is really, really nice. Um, and then people can buy our, our SaaS, our software as a service offer. And I basically sell the $150, a $150 a month um, package, which gives you access to $297. Uh, but you're you're buying a high ticket project from us as well, so it's different. But um, high level charges the user, so even the person who's on the the SaaS plan 
the end user pays by usage. So let's say you paid me 150 a month to, to get access to it, just like any other software. The more emails, calls, and texts you send, there is a, a fee for that. Emails are like 0 0.02 cents an email or something like that. So, you know, 10 bucks gets you like 4,000, 5,000 emails, something like that. Uh, by comparison, an active campaign is going to charge you based on the number of user seats and contacts. And high level is not built that way. It's a little bit different pricing structure. Um, again, it probably shakes out to all to be pretty similar, to be honest with you. One thing I do like about high level. Um, which is especially helpful because marketing automation is uh, when you start to get in the emails and stuff is one of the more complicated things in marketing you can get into. Um, I don't know if this is because of the plan level I'm on or if this is just normal, but I had to use their, um, their support chat the other day. Okay. Active campaign. A lot of companies in the world now they don't have chat. Everything's like ticketing email system. It's slow. It's frustrating. Sometimes, you know, there's been periods, uh, not recently, but there's been periods of active campaign. I couldn't get a response for weeks. I've been with them a long time, but I used the high level chat the other day, spoke to a bot, um, got switched over to a human and I was able to have a very intelligent conversation about one of our, uh, sub accounts, one of our clients and get an answer very quickly. And I was like, man, that is fantastic. So. Um, I want to say the support's really good. They high level has a Facebook group. It's the official one. I think it's about 77,000 members. That's also a great place to get answers as well. And high level, I, I think they've been out four or five years. So it's newer than an active campaign or HubSpot, but for whatever reason, all of a sudden the market is really interested in this product. So I'm a fan. Like I said, I haven't been using it as long, but I can do everything that I can do an active campaign and more. Uh, for a guy like me that's kind of a nerd with this stuff, that's exciting for a lot of people. Just to be honest, it's a bigger learning curve. So everything's got trade-offs, right? Um, but you can do everything you want to do in here. So it's a great tool. Um, I haven't had any any weird experiences with it yet. You know, every software is going to have uh, quirks, glitches, updates, et cetera. But really what it comes down to is, you know, how support or how the developer is going to respond to that. So... Um, yeah, if you're a high level user, it's great. Uh, again, the opportunities are going to be your pipelines, your, uh, automation menu down here is going to take you to those workflows. Now, one thing I really like, and I forgot to mention this, if we were looking at the active campaign automations, the only thing you can do is create labels and sort them by label. When you get a lot of automations, that's helpful, but I always wanted folders. Well, high level must have uh, heard that from other people because they don't have labels, but they have folders. So I can uh, create folders for a specific type of workflows and organize them that way, which is really nice. So that's really good. Um, the tags, so if you're like making, the lists and tags is a bit different um, than other programs I've used. Tags are pretty simple. They're all lowercase. You can't put any kind of a description on them. So they're real basic. I like being able to add a description because I can't tell you the amount of client accounts I've gone into and been like, what does this tag mean? They're like, I have no idea. So if you're using high level, make sure your tags are obvious to the people that work for you now and future people. It's a great piece of advice. The other thing that's really interesting and different, and I'm not sure how much I like it yet, but um, high level, unlike any other marketing automation tool that I've ever used, uses something called smart lists. So here's an example of all contacts, you can see tags and different stuff. And then there's these smart lists across the top. And if I click on master contact list, every one of these smart lists has a condition needed for people to be on it. So you don't just add them and unsubscribe them like you would in another program. You look over here at more filters and you see what it is. So in this case, if they have the tag master contact, they're on this list. If they lose that tag for some reason, they're off the list. So the idea is a smart list is supposed to be um, dynamic and always updating based on the conditions that contacts do or don't meet. It's a little bit different, but probably pretty, pretty valuable. Um, so there's a lot you can do here. There's a whole lot you can do here. Uh, you can even track conversations right here. So it is powerful. There is a lot of things to be excited about. Um, I'm currently using this and ActiveCampaign in our company, and part of that's because we work in both for clients. So 
it is uh, is obvious for that reason. If I didn't like high level, we wouldn't work in it, period. And I wouldn't pay them a bunch of money per month for what we do. Um, it is a good tool, right? And it, it's, it's nice from our standpoint. I fought this for a long time, but it's nice to have options for clients because sometimes people get really excited about one software and uh, we want to be able to help them there, right? So high level is a, is a good one. And if you've uh, chosen that one or thinking about it, awesome. Let me know if you have any questions at all. Hopefully this is somewhat helpful. Um, just kind of a snapshot in time of uh, some of the pros and cons of, of what I think about high level at this point. So uh, see you in the interactive webinars and check out some of our other videos if you haven't already. Take care.